Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Shell Script Tutorial Series Part 17. In today's video, we're gonna understand what is logging in a Shell Script and how we can create our own login module in a Shell because by default, Shell doesn't provide any login module. In general, in other high-level programming language, most of uh, the languages are having their own login module which we can directly utilize but in Shell we don't have. So first let's try to understand what is logging and then we're going to understand how we can create our own logging module in the shell script. So why do we need a logging in the very first place? So logging is actually help us to debug in case of there is any bug or if there is any error in our shell script or in our program or in a software program. Right. So from the structure perspective, it's not that everybody, every logger is having a same kind of, you know, the structure, but majorly you will see the structure will be like this. We have first timestamp, then a log label, then main module name, child module if that is there, then function name if or the method name followed by the message, which will actually help us to tell what exactly happening at any given point in time by the software program or shell script. So what I did is I just created a very small uh, script which actually help us to just you know keep a track of it like how our shell scripting is progressing. So let's say we have one shell script that is you know running continuously and we need to just keep a log uh, inside one of the log file that would tell uh, if something goes wrong with that script and we, want, we know the timestamp we can directly go into the log file and see what exactly happening and in a login you will see that whatever the message we log we have a proper log label or the log categorization defined which you can see on my screen for example this is debug then we have info we have error similarly if i just go back to my ppt you will see majorly we have these kind these category of logs we have debug info warn error fatal and panic so error, fatal and panics are the one which actually needs to be looked at it and investigated why it is happening. And these debug, info and warning are the actually a message which actually help us to find out at what point in time for what event the problem is happening. So let's quickly jump into the demo part and see how we can create our own logger module in a shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create one logger.sh. Okay. And if I just go inside, and what we're gonna do is we just gonna try to achieve this. How we can you know log in in this way? Like I mean, if we have one script, we need to have a name of our script, then main program execution. So we are gonna just executing the flow or the logic execution inside the log file for any any script, right? For which we want to enable a logic, right? So the very first thing what we need is, what we can do is we can actually define a small, small program to achieve that. So very first thing what we need in a logger is we need a log file, right? So what I can do is I can just define log underscore file variable, file equals to, okay. So here what I'm going to do is either you can accept this from a command line or you can by default make any particular, you know, any particular file. So for what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a, let's say, uh, I should extract the script name first. To extract the script name, we can use this base name then the zero what it's gonna do is it's gonna you know extract the name of a script and put it in a script name and then we're gonna use that in a current directory and I'm just gonna use that script name here dot log okay so what this is gonna do is so now my log file name is going to be the script name dot log okay now what we need to do first we need to create a program which which will be logging my main program entry right so for that what i'm going to do is main entry function i'm just going to define that and here what i'm going to do is so what the structure we need right so we need our very first thing is a timestamp right to achieve a timestamp what we can do is we can 
let's say I can define a time and equals to bar take and then date. You can just format the way you want it. There are many uh, ways with, through which we can just format it. The, whatever the you know format you want to do it. Then I wanted to use a script name. For the script name, we can use similar command again, base name, double zero. Okay. And then what I can do is what is structure we need, right? We need a structure like first we need a date, right? Okay, so for do for doing that, what I can do is in square bracket we need we need that name. Okay. So put timestamp here. Okay, and then what we need? Uh, then we need colon followed by log label, and this one I'm just going to define as a debug. And what next we need? We need a script name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass my script name here, followed by the message right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put mean logic is so this is what we need okay that's one thing now what else we need now we need, uh, as I mentioned, we need, you know, three level, four, five, six level of category like info, error. So similarly, what I can do is, uh, I can copy paste the same logic. interesting because we need to accept you know what kind of message and this info can be uh, uh, executed at uh, from uh, various places within a script right so uh, we should be accepting let's say one parameter and that we will be passing through when we are going to execute this command okay main info and then we have main error Error also okay, so I have to change another thing. I have to change this error, and here also I need to accept this. And here I have to, I have to change this info. The other thing which I wanted to do now, what else we have? We work in. So we have debug info error. Now we need this. Just copy these two again. These two are just come down here. I just come down here now and paste it and then if so log log main info main error then I have main debug and this time I'm just gonna put debug here and similarly you can create whatever the log label you want and this error I'm just gonna put like zip and this is gonna be uh, Is 
so in this way we have created all the functions which we want now what we can do is now we can actually create a small logic where we will be calling all these functions okay so if i put mean entry i don't need to pass anything and then let's say i want to call mean in four so let's say starting mean logic and you can call this function inside other script as well to ensure that you will be logging correctly and let's say that i want to put main debug and that main debug also required starting debugging logic inside function and you can just give as much as information you can and then let's say uh, you want to call main error because you find out in a script that there is one error and for error ending i will come up with another script okay so um, error in logic so login for investigation and then you can exit and i think you are fine then inside the main exit what you can do is There are many ways how you want to design it. Okay, so I hope I have developed this correctly. And if this is fine, because we have put a lot of stuff in this, let's see how it works. And if this base is not found, but you can see that you know um, I just made a mistake here, right? I can correct this. But now you can see things are getting you know. Um, so log in and you can just log all these things in a file also right? so what you can do is you can use the directional the directional this is actually uh, you know just put all the output inside you know whatever the output this logger file is creating let's say i want to put this in sys log dot report i can do that but let me first fix those two issues which we have in our logger file okay but in real time you will be creating all these function in one file and you will be calling this logger into a different script and based on your need you will be calling these function depending upon what information you want to put in the log file right so the very first error which i was seeing is Okay, and the last one is main exit, and this uh, this is problem that so the name is main exit. And let me just bring some consistency. Okay, also let's change it. And the way I'm just calling here uh, just to show that it's working fine. But in your uh, script where you for for which you want to enable the logging, you have to ensure that. Okay. If I run this time, see it's working fine. The only problem is the the last thing which I am here to do is uh, whatever the echo command we have. So what I have to do is I have to first, you know, this log file. Uh, so I can so this double, you know, the bidirectional symbol. What it does is log and the script file. And I have to log file. Okay, and I have to give this to all the echo commands which we have, so that we are not required, you know, to use. Redirectional by script because we are going to use this inside the another script. Okay, 
so the next thing is uh, i have to just put this so that uh, you will not be required actually to you know use the redirectional for you know putting your output into the log file and this will do and that is how you can create your own module and you can add whatever the log level you want to add it because in real time you need more information that also you can put it in a echo or how whatever the way you want to capture it okay so if i just save it and now this is good now So I'm. It looks like you know you see that logger dot sh, but now we are getting a sh as also, so we can remove that. We can pass it, you know, correctly, and then we can see we are just seeing all those log messages here. And if you know anything goes wrong with the script where you are utilizing this logger file, then uh, you know you can figure out very easily where the problem is, and you can go to that logic and you can just quickly fix that. So that is how you can create your own logger module. right and in the next video i will be just letting you know how can you use this logger module inside the other script so that you can utilize the power of this particular script in other script and that would actually help you know the developers or you know whosoever is maintaining your script and whosoever is maintaining the environment to easily investigate what exactly going on with the script and what is going wrong and how he can fix that That's it from my side. If you have any feedback or any suggestion or any question or any queries regarding this logger module, please feel free to post that in a feedback and a suggestion box, and I will be more than happy to help you on that. And I will really have, I will really appreciate, you know, if you really like these videos, so just give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it. And if you want that, you want to share this video with your friends or your group, please feel free to do that. and thanks for watching this and stay healthy and keep learning and new stuff